So um, uh, the next task is to have the Bluebird body start to explode and glide off of the screen down to the bottom right. right? Um, but before we do that, there's this small error that I uh, picked up on the last after the last video. And uh, I want to talk about how to fix it because it was kind of stumping me. I was just sitting there like, why? And what was happening is the body um, was stopped, but every once in a while it would move forward, right? Just like a little bit. And so it was kind of confusing to me, but then I realized what was happening. So give me a second. Let's get there and destroy this bluebird. Get the beak. Get the eye. Get the wing. So if you look at the body, it moves forward every once in a while. Right? And why is that? Well, the reason for that is because we are running attack forever. Okay? And so we don't want to run attack forever. And every time we run attack, it comes over to here and it moves forward uh, oh no that's not it big bird attack yeah so it moves forward 15 uh, steps okay um, yeah so when we're over here in backdrops we don't want to run this forever okay so let's not do that and let's replace it with a repeat until bluebird energy is equal to 4 or bluebird level is equal to four. Okay, let's drop that in there, and that will stop it from happening um, after he has, yeah, after he has been destroyed. So, what are we doing now? Okay, now we are causing the explosions to happen. Okay, and so to cause the explosions to happen, what we need to know is where the body is on the screen. And so we need to create two variables for that. We need to create an X variable and a Y variable. Um, and you might be thinking to yourself, like, no, we don't. We just go to motion, scroll down, and we have the X position and Y position of the Bluebird body. But I can't take that and give it to the explosion. And the explosion is what needs to know where the Bluebird body is. right? Um, so because of that disconnection, uh, we need to save these two values in variables, and then Explosion will know where that is. So let's go ahead and get started by creating those two variables. We'll call it uh, blue uh, xpos, and then we'll call it blue ypos, and say OK. We'll initialize them both to zero over here. Um, but of course that doesn't really mean too much because we're going to be setting them equal to different values almost immediately. Um, so let's set them both equal to zero. And then right over here I guess we can get a when I receive bluebird let us forever set ooh, where is it? Set and set the blue xpos to he is X position and blue Y pos to his Y position. So now I have these two variables, X blue X pos, blue Y pos, and they're always going to be where the blue body is, right? And so now when I come over here to explosion, um, I can go to events, green flag clicked. Of course, I want him to hide because I do not want uh, an explosion in the beginning when I hit the green flag. But once uh, I get the bird, the, once the bird is dead, that's when I want the explosion to happen. So I guess we can say forever, and we can check for that to happen. Forever if blue bird level is equal to 4, that's when we know he is no longer with us. Blue bird level is equal to 4. Then what do I want to do? I want to go to XY. I want to go specifically to the Bluebird's X position, the Bluebird's Y position. And oh, actually, let's not do that. Let us repeat. Well, let's do a, a create a clone 
So let's come down here to create a clone of myself. And then when I start as clone, I am going to show. I'm going to go to my XY. And I am going to iterate through all my costumes. So you see here I have eight costumes. So I can go to control and I can repeat eight times. And I could do next costume. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if that works. Okay, so it's a little bit off because the blues X pos Y pos is the bottom of the of the bluebird. Um, oh no, actually that's not true. It's uh, at zero zero. So I think this should work, right? Um, let's go ahead and test that out. So it's kind of annoying because you have to get all the way to the end of the game in order to test it out, but. Uh, luckily, this game is a bit short, so it's not too much big of a problem. And I really should have just coded this to be at full power all the time. But I didn't. So let's go ahead and take out this bluebird. Got his feet. Got his beak. Oh no. Back to the pea shooter. Get his eyeball. Ah. Man, that eyeball just does not want to go away. Okay. So then we get the explosion. But it doesn't look like it's exploding all the way. So I think what we need to do is actually hide him. Yeah, so we come over here and we hide. And it looks like the costumes are going a little fast. So I'm going to go over here and get my weight block and wait 0.1 seconds. And we can see that that's what happens, right? So it looks like that. So it looks pretty good, right? We get a little explosion going. And um, yeah, in the next task, we'll make it look a little bit more interesting.